Hey guys, this is Mark Spectre Comics here back at the workbench and I wanted to do a contest entry for Spectacular Spider Grandpa's 500 sub cover entry. So, um, just a quick little update on this contest. Just make sure you sub, you like, and um, you get some uh, extra entries for specific covers that you enter. So. Um, he wanted to do a skull cover, a black and red cover, meat and potatoes cover, which I call eye candy, <laughs> um, a cover with a shark, and I believe the last one was a patriotic cover. All right, so let's let's get this rolling. So the first cover is going to be my skull cover, and that is. Cosmic Ghost Rider number three. Let me zoom in on that. Cosmic Ghost Rider number three. It's the uh, Incentive 1 and 25 cover. That thing's pretty sick. You can see um, Baby Thanos there right in the middle of uh, the Cosmic Ghost Rider's uh, mouth. I believe that's his first appearance. So it's either uh, Punisher Thanos or or the first appearance of Baby Thanos. I forget what it is, but it's a really sick cover. Um, so I, I had a few other covers I could have used, but I, I thought that was, this one was, was pretty wicked to, to use as the, uh, the entry. So there's my skull cover. Uh, my next one is going to be my shark cover. And I actually didn't have a lot of uh, shark covers in my collection. So um, when I found this one, I was like, all right, so this has got to be it. So this is uh, Riptide from Red 5 Comics. It's the um, issue number two of four. And as you can see, it has that, that killer uh, hammerhead shark there at the bottom. And then the person there riding the jet ski with all the other sharks nearby. So I thought that was, that was a very cool looking uh, shark cover. Yeah, I'm, I was just a little surprised I didn't have any um any other shark covers in my uh, collection. I figured I, you know, I have a few Aquaman um, books in my collection, but I didn't have any of those ones with the, the really cool. There's a cool um, Josh Middleton one where Aquaman's looking directly at the shark, but I, I, I thought I had that, but apparently not. So, uh, on to the next book, and I had a ton of black and red uh, covers, but I figured I use one of my current. Uh, favorite villains out there right now and this is uh as you know venom number three it's a hot book this is the third printing the cover appearance of you guessed it Null on the throne um i had some other really cool uh, black and red covers i wanted to put but i love the venom series i love the villain Null, so i was like all right no brainer that's my black and red my next one is uh, what Spectacular uh, Spider Grandpa called is meat and potatoes, which I call eye candy. Uh, we all have a ton of uh, eye candy covers in our collection. Figured I'd keep it simple. Go to uh, use the classic Elvira. And uh, this cover alone could have pretty much suited the meat and potatoes, the skull, and the black and red. But I'm just going to use it as the uh, meat and potatoes. Uh, so this is Elvira, Mistress of the Dark, number one, and that's uh, the cover's done by Hack. He does some really cool covers for uh, the Elvira series. So there's my uh, meat and potatoes, and then you got to finish off with the uh, patriotic covers. So there's no one else more patriotic than Captain America. So there it is. Captain America number 383. Let me zoom in on that. There you go. That's the 50th anniversary issue. Um, that was actually a really cool book. You can see there in the in the background with the bronze, you see the Statue of Liberty. You see him there holding the flag. Even the Captain America tra um, tray stock up top has the red, white, and blue. And if you notice here, signed by Ron Lim and Ron Wilson. Ended up getting that uh, 
signed by them both back at Terrificon last year. And it's also some Jim Lee art as well too. So uh, yeah, hopefully that uh, puts me in for the running for uh, Spectacular Spider Grandpa's 500 cover sub contest. And until next time, it's Mark Spectacomics, out.